Today I'm going to show you how to create a directory in the root of your Mac. If you've tried to do that ever since Catalina, you've probably seen the error message that tells you that this is a read-only system. But let's give it a try and see what happens. So we're going to type make dir and we're going to try to create a directory called test. And as we expected, we see a read-only file system. Now, the nice thing is that there's a very easy work around it. So let's first list our root directory and see what's in there. As you can see here, we have a bunch of directories, but we have also those things here that are called symlinks or soft links. Now, for example, let's take this home one. You can see that home is actually not a directory. It is a symlink that points to the directory system, which is up here. And then you have the full path to where the actual home folder is located, which is system volume data home. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to create a symlink that points to a location where our actual directory will be. So for this example, we're going to want to create a symlink that's called test, and that will point to a directory test that's going to be in our home directory. So we're going to move into our home directory. Uh -huh. And in here, we're going to create a directory that's called test. There you go. The next thing we need to do is we have to create a configuration file. And in this file, we're going to put instructions that will tell the system that we want to have a symlink that points to this test directory. So we're going to do sudo, we're going to use nano to create the file, and the file has to be in Etsy, and the file has to be called synthetic.conf. There you go. So the first thing we have to do here is give the name of the symlink, we're going to call it test, and here we have to hit tab. You cannot do space. If you do space, it's not going to work. So make sure you do tab. And then we're going to give it path to our directory. So it's going to be our home directory. And then the test directory that we just created. You can go ahead and save the file. Oh, actually, I misspelled here an extra s there you go now that we have all that set we can go ahead and reboot the computer now that we're back from the reboot uh, we can go ahead and check to make sure um, that our sim link was created so we can list our root directory and as you can see we have our test symlink here that points to our home directory um, test directory. And we can quickly test it to make sure that it's working as expected. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead here and point to that root test directory. And as you can see, there's no files in there, but we can just maybe kind of just right click here and create a folder. And if I come here and list that directory, we can see that, oh, I can't list it, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, one thing that it doesn't work, like if it was real directory, you can't just list it. You have to go in it to list it. So i go like this and then list it. And then you can see that the directory that we just created from here the same way if we just touch a file in here, then we'll call it test file. And you can see that the file appears in here. And just to test, uh, check our present directory, we'll see that we're in test. Now, the main thing to remember is that this is just a link. And basically, all the actual files and directories 
are located in our test directory under user. So if we list it here, oops, if we go to our home directory and then we go to test and then you list it, this is where actually the files are. That test, you know, the one in the root that we created is just a soft link to users, um, our user home directory test. Um, there's one thing that I forgot to mention is when you create that synthetic configuration file, you want to make sure that that file has the right permissions. So I'm just going to kind of take a quick look at it to make sure, I mean, it worked, so it must have had the right permissions, but sometimes, depending on how it gets created, uh, the permissions may be uh, wrong and then it won't work. So if for some reason uh, this did not work for you, make sure to check the permissions and you want to make sure that the file is owned by root, the group is will, and um, the owner has read and write, and then the group has read and everybody else has read. If these permissions don't look like this, it is most likely not going to work. And then one more thing, I know I mentioned it earlier, but it's it's very important, you know, to make sure that everything worked, is to make sure that when the file is created, you press the tab key here. Like, do not do spaces here, it's not going to work. And I think that's it. I hope this video was helpful. And if you find if you found it helpful please click on the like button and if you have any questions uh, please put it in the comments below thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day